Here, I'm gonna show you a nice Excel data visualization and summary trick where we can see all of the data like this, or we can get a nice summary of it, drill down into the sections that we care about, and even use this trick to help us prepare for printing. So if we wanna print right now, we are going to get all of the data. It's gonna look a little bit better in a landscape. And if we go back here, let's say that we don't want charts, we can click this, the charts are gone, go back, and there's no more charts that are going to be printed. And that's also going to work for all of these sections of data. You don't want to print this guy, we can go ahead and get it out of the way. And if you want, you can get everything out of the way. Or quickly bring it all back. And even though the data set here is standardized, I'm gonna show you how to make it work for your data set so it does not have to look like this. It's just going to help you visualize and summarize your data. And if you want more Excel tips and my Excel courses that'll show you how to streamline all of your work in Excel, check the links below this video and you might even catch a sale. Now, let me go ahead and clear this out and show you how to make this for your project. The first thing to do is to get your data how you want it to be. It does not have to look like this. The sections do not have to repeat themselves. All that you have to do is to get some rows or columns set up so that you can hide them without interfering with other data. So for instance, we want to be able to hide all of these charts so we have no data above them or in between them. That way when we hide these columns over here, the chart's going to be hidden, and nothing else is going to be messed up in our data set. And the same thing holds true for this data down here. So what I've got is some summary data up here, and then all of the raw data for it down here, and a chart made from that raw data. But I don't have anything to the right of it. The next thing is figure out what data you do not want to be hidden. So I don't want this data to be hidden, and I just made this. I started with the raw data, added a chart, then added some summary values up here. And for this, index and match are your friend. And if this formula looks a little bit confusing, I'll put a link to my index and match tutorial below this video, and you can give that a look. They are great functions. And they're going to work in older versions of Excel, not just Excel 365. So once you have your data set up how you want it to be set up, go to the Data tab and look to the Outline section. What we're going to be doing is to group rows and columns. Now let us start by grouping all of this so that we can hide it. What I'm going to do is to click, let's go from 7 all the way down here. And we want to make sure that the rows include all of the chart. Then you go to Data and group and we can now click this and it's gone click it again and it's back now when you do this make sure that for your chart let's right click and it's off the screen but go to format chart area then right here size and properties properties move and size with cells if you have one of these other options checked like don't move or size with cells then your chart is not really going to be hidden. So make sure that we click this guy and move and size with cells is selected. Close it and we are good to go. So now let's repeat it for the next sections. And we can add the same number of rows or a different number of rows. It doesn't matter because we are grouping these individually. So we can do it in basically a custom way. When you do things a little bit more automatically and you use auto outline, it has to be a very standardized setup for your data. So now we've got it like this, and we can click two to open up everything, one to close everything. And now let's go ahead and enclose all of this in one more. So to get the outer plus and minus grouping, we select everything here, and then we go back up to a group and now we have one more level so we can close it all and show it all very easily and for the charts let's show everything just select to the right and just to the left so on the left side and the right side make sure you have them all included in the columns and click group 
and you get one of these plus and minus group guys up here. And that's really all you have to do. And if you want to ungroup anything, what you can do is to select the area that you'd like to ungroup and hit ungroup. And if you want to remove it from the entire worksheet, we can go up here, click that or control A a couple times and go to ungroup or clear outline. And that's all for this Excel data visualization and summary trick. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and if you want to learn more, check the links below this video.